Welcome to the He's Got Issues Independent Comics Edition number 25. I'm John Cooney here to preview new independent comics being released August 14th, 2013, beginning alphabetically with Adventure Time Candy Capers number 2 of 6. Finn and Jake are missing. Don't worry, Candy Kingdom. Peppermint Butler and Cinnamon Bun will protect you. This is a miniseries you definitely don't want to miss with the talents of Yuko Ada and Annette Panagaria. Riding our candied heroes along with Ian McGinty of Ugly Dolls on art duties. There's nothing that can go wrong. Next, we've got Deathmatch number 8. The second arc of the hit series comes to a close. With the survivor pool dwindling, our heroes race against the clock to solve the mystery of the prison before they are faced against one another in the arena. The final battle of the second round comes to a close here as Deathmatch barrels toward the Elite Eight. We've also got Garfield Pet Force Special number 1. Pet Force Unleashed and an Oversized Special. By popular demand, we're collecting your favorite Pet Force stories from the past year and throwing in an all-new story as well. You can't resist the extra-large helping of Planet Dorkin's Finest. We've also got Grace Randolph's Superbia number 10. Tia and Dion mission to save Zari from the clutches of Hector Hunt continues while Alexis, Jake, and Paul search for the kidnapped Geo. Eve, still reeling from the death of Mike Smith, decides to erect a memorial to the fallen hero whose death she believes she caused. Sovereign struggles with the loss of Hela and shakes the neighborhood to its core, literally. We've also got Hero Bear and the Kid Inheritance number one of five. The original Hero Bear and the Kid returns to comics, go back to the beginning of the fabulous original adventures by acclaimed cartoonist Mike Kunkel as the award-winning nostalgic tale is reprinted with bonus new material. After his grandfather passes away, 10-year-old Tyler inherits an old stuffed toy bear and a broken pocket watch. If dealing with bullies wasn't enough, he soon learns that things aren't always what they seem and that you shouldn't judge a bear by its cover. Join Tyler as he goes on his amazing childhood adventures and learns the truth about his family. And we've got Six Gun Gorilla number three of six. Captured by the Rebel War Party with Six Gun Gorilla nowhere in sight, Blue is forced to lead a small squad out into the blister in search of the mysterious locket he was tasked with taking back to Earth. But little did they know, the sadistic four-armed bounty hunter, Auchenbron, is also on the hunt. From Dark Horse Comics, we've got Breath of Bones, a tale of the Golem number three of three. While a town flees from advancing Germans, one young boy stays behind to protect their homes. With the help of a golem brought to life by the boy's grandfather's faith and death, the battle begins for their freedom and future. With art by 2012 Russ Manning Award nominee Dave Wachter from the creator of 30 Days of Night and criminal macabre Steve Niles. Next, we've got Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 9, Number 24. In a last-ditch effort to save Dawn, the heroic trio of Buffy, Willow, and Xander must split up and tackle their own demons, real and imagined. As the season's big bads, Severin and Simone, threaten to turn back time, the mystical council partner with Ko and Ilria to prevent a tragic tear in the fabric of time. Next, we've got Halo Initiation Number 1 of 3. Halo, one of the largest video game franchises, comes to Dark Horse. Before she was a super soldier defending humanity as part of the Spartan 4 program, Sarah Palmer was an ODST, Orbital Drop Shock Trooper, carrying out the most dangerous missions behind enemy lines. The origin of Sarah Palmer and Spartan 4 program, the Halo franchise's sales eclipsing $3 billion over its lifetime, from one of the writers on Halo 4, comics veteran Brian Reed. Next, we've got Resident Alien, the Suicide Blonde number zero. Stranded on Earth, the alien living undercover as Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel continues his practice in the small town of Patience, USA. Assisted by Native American nurse Asta, the only person who suspects that he's from another planet, Harry finds himself enmeshed with another murder mystery. Also, the feds are on to Harry. From the writer of Tom Strong and the artist of the classic Bon Jeffrey saga, Alan Moore says, A perfect pitch narrative from two of my favorite creators. Next, we've got Star Wars number 8. Luke Skywalker and Wedge Antilles intentionally allow themselves to be captured by the Empire to discover how Colonel Bircher is tracking the Rebels' movements. Meanwhile, Darth Vader sends a spy into his own ranks to find out the same thing, and Han and Chewie go blaster to blaster against Boba Fett. We've also got two lives of the fabulous Killjoys number three of six. The pulse is beating like a cheetah on speed. No longer content to hide from the prying eyes and lies of BLI, the girl tries her hand at learning how to fire a ray gun with the help of former Killjoy, Cherry Cola. But when her vision bends and her mind opens, will the girl see beyond sight and view more than she can handle? How far can you see when you lose focus? One of IGN's most anticipated comics of 2013 from the creator of the Umbrella Academy with art by 2013 Eisner nominee Becky Cloonan. And we've got X number four. It's a bloody showdown on Arcadia's rooftops as X is assaulted by the pig-faced Berkshire, a maniac who can no longer feel physical pain. 
As Lee fends off a swarm of the city's thugs, Berkshire shatters the lock around X's neck, and the mask finally comes off, a cornerstone of Dark Horse's new superhero line. From Dynamite Entertainment, we've got Battlestar Galactica number 3, Apollo and Starbuck face perils on their own, while Starbuck teams with a strangely familiar acquaintance, Apollo joins in humanity's last effort to overthrow the decades-old tyranny. Behold the consequences of reality where the Battlestar Galactica never existed, and the all-conquering Cylon Empire grinds humanity to dust. This is by Abnett and Lanning, and worth checking out. Next, we've got Damsel's Mermaids number 4 of 5. Betrayed, the Little Mermaid and her new prince must flee, but where can you flee when you're in the center of the ocean and only one of you is a mermaid? The good news is that someone is there to meet them. The bad news is it's no one you'd ever, ever want to meet. But could this terrible reversal be a blessing in disguise? As everything converges on the island nation of Atlantis, John's plan becomes terribly clear, and the Little Mermaid must decide whose side she's really on. Next, we've got Dejah Thoris and the Green Men of Mars number 5 of 12. To keep the peace, Dejah Thoris must keep a dreadful secret, the inhuman act she witnessed and endured at the hands of the outlaw Tharks. To reveal such horror would break the alliance that John Carter forged, pinning all of Mars in a race war. But the price of her secrecy grants the brutal cult of Hawk free reign to launch a terror campaign of their own. We've also got Grim number four. Nick teams up with the mysterious new Grim Maya and comes face to face with the ferocious enemy responsible for his mother's kidnapping. Meanwhile, separated from the others in Europe, Hank and Monroe must figure out their next move while dodging squads of Verrett soldiers. We've also got Red Sonia number two. Placed in an unwinnable war against an implacable foe, Sonia is forced to do an inconceivable move that will cost her like no previous battle ever has. The thrilling reimagining of the greatest female sword and sorcerer hero ever created continues. Do not miss this jaw-dropping issue. Next, we've got Shadow, Green Hornet, Dark Knights number two of five. The Green Hornet and Kato ally with Shadow and Khan against the dark force known as the Shadow. Warned that a storm is coming to America, an electrically charged storm of biblical proportions, a storm that will bring explosive destruction to the heart of the country's communications, finance, and manufacturing industries, a storm that will rain fear across the United States, for Khan now knows how to turn the ultimate power of Earth against the Shadow and his secret partner, the scientist who invented the autogyro and first harnessed this terrible power, Nikolai Tesla. And we've got Vampirella Southern Gothic number one of five. She's fought vampires, aliens, magicians, and monsters, but can she survive Mississippi? While aching from a glowing wound made by a demon's blue blade, Vampy heads to the deep south to unravel a mystical mystery tied up in an old flame, religion, and lots and lots and lots of blood. From IDW Publishing, we've got Doctor Who number 12, The Big Bad Revealed at Last. The year-long mystery of the hypothetical gentleman and his identity has finally been unraveled by the Doctor. But is it too late to save himself, Clara, and the other misplaced residents of the Sky World? Join us for the finale of Skyjacks to find out. Next, we've got Doomsday Point 1 number 4 of 4 by John Byrne. Brazil, or what's left of it, as Yulia prepares to give birth, the team faces a new threat and finds an unexpected ally. We've also got G.I. Joe Special Missions number 6. G.I. Joe has tracked the downed Cobra satellite to their lair of the vicious gang of motorcycle marauders called the Dreadnoughts. The bad news keeps coming with the reappearance of Zartan as the leader of the Biker Maniacs, and they have three G.I. Joe members captive. It's up to Roadblock and Spirit to rescue their brother warriors and stop Zartan before he turns himself into a weapon of mass destruction. Next, we've got Half Past Danger number 4 of 6. The race is on. Tote and his SS have collected enough dinosaur specimens and are speeding toward the coast in their armored train in order to part the island. Irish and his team must give chase and find a way to stop their foes before they can board their ship and deliver their prizes to the Fuhrer. We've also got Star Trek number 24. The adventures of Kirk, Spock, and the Enterprise crew continues in this all-new adventure that follows the events of the hit film Star Trek Into Darkness and the new Star Trek video game. A classic enemy returns in this story overseen by Star Trek writer-producer Roberto Orsi, Beware the Gorn. We've also got Star Trek 100 Penny Press number 1. The 100 Penny Press returns 1 dollar versions of crucial IDW books. First up, Star Trek number 1. The ongoing series that picks up where the blockbuster 2009 film left off, featuring the new cast of the film. These missions reimagine the stories from the original series in the alternate timeline created by the film, along with the new threats and characters never seen before. With creative collaboration from Star Trek writer-producer Roberto Orsi. 
We've also got Thunder Agents number one. The Thunder Agents are dead, or soon will be, unless new recruit Dynamo can master the incredible but lethal power of the Thunder Belt in time to rescue his teammates from the mysterious Iron Maiden. The timeless heroes return to comics with a vengeance in this blistering first issue from writer Phil Hester of Godzilla, Invincible Universe, and Wonder Woman, and artist Andrea DeVito of Dungeons & Dragons. And we've got X-Files Season 10, Number 3, Believers, Part 3 of 5. The accolades are seeking Scully's lost son, William, and Dana realizes there's more than meets the eye to her abductor, known only as the Deacon. Meanwhile, Mulder uncovers more of the truth than he can handle when an old cigarette-smoking friend pays him a visit. From Image Comics, we've got East of West, Number 5, The Promise. Flashback to the fallout of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Learn what shocking event tore them apart and the secret that has been hidden ever since. The most exciting new books of the year, East of West continues in The Promise. Next, we've got Ghosted Number 2. The Trask Mansion has bloody history of death and dismemberment. Jackson T. Winters, number one rule to survive it, get out before the sun goes down. But how can this team of paranormal experts steal a ghost without breaking a few rules? We've also got Great Pacific Number 9, Nation Building Part 3. Founding New Texas was hard enough, but if Chaz Worthington is to gain international support for his young country, it will take all the allies he can gather. We've also got Las Vegas number 4. One hand can make or break you. That has never been more true than now, and not just for Roland, but for the entire galaxy. After the sacrifice he made, the house of cards that is Las Vegas, and all it stands for, begins to crumble. As the saying goes, you have to know when to run. The Eisner Award-winning team of Jim McCann and Janet Lee wrap up their acclaimed series filled with intrigue and a compelling, unique universe. Next, we've got Mind the Gap, number 12, Out of Bodies, part 2. Elle's shattered mind stitches back together with an unexpected twist, the full memory of her attack. Meanwhile, someone realizes that they have played a far more integral role in Elle's situation than they knew. Plus, the fifth is revealed. The two-part arc wraps up, setting the stage for the most unexpected twist yet. We've also got Peter Panzerfaust number 13, Cry of the Wolf Part 3. With the French military liaison's life in jeopardy, Felix and Jacques race against time to extract their one connection to the Great War before the Germans remove him from the equation. Next, we've got Saga number 13, the smash hit critically acclaimed series returns. Now that you've read the first two best-selling collections of Saga, you're all caught up and ready to jump on the ongoing train with Chapter 13, beginning an all-new monthly sci-fi fantasy adventure as Hazel and her parents head to the planet Quietus in search of cult romance novelist D. Oswald Heist. We've also got Savage Dragon number 190. The countdown to the biggest and most significant change for Savage Dragon continues as Dragon faces Mako in jail for the most brutal battle ever. Next, we've got Spawn number 234, the violent soul-shattering struggle between Jim Downing and the increasingly powerful K-7 Letha threatens to overwhelm the world's new savior. Whoever wins, Jim or the symbiote, will change the world. And we've got Walking Dead number 113, They March to Certain Doom. From Valiant Entertainment, we've got Archer and Armstrong number 12, Caught in the Jaws of the Far Away. General, redacted, has laid claim on the greatest secret in the time-lost dimension that's practically built on him. Must be a doozy, huh? Well, it's big enough that Redacted and his army of alien greys, they're small but feisty, are laying waste to anyone and anything approaching their occupied lands of the faraway. Now it's down to Archer and Armstrong to run the greatest infiltration, liberation, inebriation mission history has ever known, which would be a cakewalk if it wasn't for all the UFOs, hostile natives, and of course, the dinosaurs. Yep, could definitely do without those dinosaurs. And we've got Harbinger number 15, Harbinger Wars Aftermath, all new arc, all new jumping on point. In the wake of Harbinger Wars, start reading here as Joshua Dysart and new series artist Barry Kitson of Amazing Spider-Man and FF begin the next year of Harbinger with a mind-bending trip to the outer limits of the Valiant Universe. It's been a brutal few months for Peter Stanchek and the Renegades, culminating in the harrowing events and losses of the Harbinger Wars. But now the members of the team have woken up to the best day ever. As Lou Reed sang, it's just a perfect day, problems left all alone. But for Peter Stanchek, a kid who deserves a good day, something seems off, like it's all not what it seems. And out in trades, we've got the Invincible Compendium Volume 2 trade paperback, it's here, the second massive paperback collection of the greatest superhero comic in the universe. Witness Invincible's transition from new kid on the block to established superhero. Collects Invincible number 48 to 96. 
Okay, so that's a look at some of the top independent publishers this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues.com to see both the Marvel and DC videos for this week, as well as my usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.